Come on, we gotta move on now. Enough of Bon Jovi. Okay, well, what's next? Yeah. Ah, two live crew. All right. Pop that coochie. Oh. Yeah. Wait until Chef gets a hold of this one. What are you up to now? Why? He's digging it perfect. Pop that coochie. Throw it. Hey, hey, I, I know just the place these girls was in, in the club talking about, me so horny, me, me so horny. Yeah. That's, that's the place we're going to get to. Yeah, some. come on, let's go, man. We, we real desperate right about now. <laughs> Originally from Rochester, New York, by way of uh, Riverside, California, and in Florida right now, Fort Lauderdale. Born in Trinidad, live in the Miami area. Two Live Crew was started in um, on March Air Force Base in um, Riverside. As everybody knows, we went all the way to the Supreme Court and won a ruling on censorship for the First Amendment right, and we started the Explicit Lyric Sticker, which... Uh, I think the guy D. Snyder from Poison, he'll say that he started it, you know, probably for rock and roll, but we had it first for rap, you know. A lot of guys come up to me, you know, a lot of rappers, they still come up to us to the day and, you know, and kind of give their respects and pay homage to us, but, you know, I'm glad that we went through that, you know, as far as the game's sake is concerned, because, you know, if it wouldn't have been for us taking the flack, you know, a lot of these cats wouldn't be able to express themselves fully and freely you know, in their music now. It has changed a lot, you know, over the last couple of decades. When we were doing it, it was all about, you know, basically like sex, you know, we just took that, what we saw in Miami and, you know, we put it to music now versus, you know, it's like everybody looking good and, you know, since, since yeah, since money came into the picture as far as on the rap side of the industry, it's kind of where the young guys are like taking it to right now. A lot of these artists, the playing field is like even, you know, com compared to a lot of the, um, with the majors, because the independents um, started something or got their vibe where the majors had to catch up later on. And with the YouTube videos and so forth, you can do basically anything, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's a good thing and it helped even it out so a lot of these artists don't have to go wait for a record deal, they create their own. Well, to me, I say twerking is the same as popping the coochie. So. I, I thought Molly Cyrus was kind of sexy twerking a little bit. You know, she's kind of tall and got a slender kind of frame. She was working it. Molly was working it. I was like, you go, girl. Two Live Crew and our music, our music, you know, transcends time, I, I think, due to the fact that, you know, sex is something that that always sell. What we're trying to tap into now is our old fan base and create a new fan base and if we can if we get lucky we can put them both together on this album you know it's it's real challenging you know some of the the music is ranging from like really up tempo dance to like really street trap and uh it's different for us and i think once we complete the project i know and i feel that that we will have some classic tracks on it and we're hoping to gain new fans at the same time, but we still want to keep that raw two live crew element. I hope that the public and you know all of our fans and new fans as well receive it. You know what I'm saying and like it and you know and just you know take the work, take it and respect it. You know and 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 uh, just really make something of it. Brother Marquis and Fresh Get Eyes of the Two Live Crew. And you're watching and listening to LA Canvas TV.